Hey, this is John Carlos, and I went to Corner Store Comics and got the Captain America Hot Toys from the Avengers line. My favorite from the Avengers. So let's check it out. The packaging for this is very similar to the packaging of the other Hot Toys figures in the series, Hawkeye and Nick Fury. And like the packages in the series, they feature a little emblem on the side that's relevant to each character. So within the bottom packaging, we've got the instruction manual, we've got the figure stand, we've got the Chitauri blaster, and we've got two shields. Notice that of the two shields that it comes with, the battle damaged one not only is just scuffed, the paint job is also a little duller, a little worn out, and the clean one is also really shiny. Here's a closer look at the Chitari gun. Now some Hot Toys figures in the past have come with guns with little moving parts, but this is just one solid piece. First he comes with two regular fists. Then he comes with two loose hands. Then two wide open palm hands. And finally finger point. I'm going to give a lot of credit. The texture on the hands look really good. You can see these little tiny dots on the palms and all the little knuckle rivets look excellent. And now we've got the alternate head. and the hood. Here's a closer look at the figure. I think the star and the shoulder piece retain that kind of plastic quality in contrast to the costume that it had in the movie, so good job to them. Now the boots, which look great by the way, do not feature an ankle joint. One side note, Hot Toys is really famous for their great face sculpts and I gotta admit, the eyeballs on this one are really good. Not only do they have that great eyeball gloss, but I don't know if you can see, but in the corner, far right corner of the right eye, there's little tiny pink veins. That hood is in fact, well not impossible to put on, it is kind of a pain in the ass to put on. So I'm gonna recommend you just try to tuck it in and then pop the head on, which might be easier said than done. Careful, because when you're trying to uh, pop the alternate head in, the gap causes the uh, costume to want to go in with it. Oh, and it popped in. And in doing so, I accidentally popped off the belt. Be sure to pop the hood down a bit. To use the Chitari gun, you're going to have to take a hand off because the hand does not fit in there. And in fact, there is a little socket for it to go into. I'm gonna put on the pointy finger for a bit. Happy report that the hands pop right on and off, no problem there. I don't, I don't know how you do it, this is how I do it. Patooey. A little tiny clip that you undo, pop it right off. This one is a little harder than the Captain America the First Avenger one. Not by much, just the gloves don't give as much give as the uh, other one did. And there we 
go. So here he is in comparison with the other Hot Toys Captain America figures made so far. Like the rescue version on the right, they are both slightly taller than the first Avenger on the left. Something that I was admittedly a bit surprised by was uh, the kind of the limited amount of articulation. Not so much because of the true type figure, but his costume is considerably tight and kind of limits your range of motion in the arms quite a bit. This is about as far up as I can get his elbow joint to go. That's about as far in as I can get his shoulder to go up, if I bring it forward and up. That's about the only range of the shoulder to bicep is right there. You get plenty of up and down. The second you try to bring it forward or back, all this material kind of limits how much you can really do with it. You can't get the arm to hold the shield that high up. So if you're really looking forward to having him bring his arm really far forward for like a shield attack, uh, I am having some trouble. Here's a little few nitpicks I had with the figure. While the boots look really cool, they offer no ankle articulation, so you really are kind of dealing with the balance of the knees and the hips. The belt, while cool looking uh, and easy to put on, also easily comes off. Like if you're holding the figure by the waist and you kind of tighten your grip, you're going to accidentally unhook the latches. It's not really hard to put back together, it's just surprising when you accidentally knock it off. Or if you're a better toy collector than me and you won't do this and I'm just an idiot. The hood, if you just snap the single snap in the back, leave the two alone on the sides, just tuck them in, pop the head on, it may take a little elbow grease, but it ends up looking cool and it's way better than spending 10 minutes trying to snap the sides on. Now the good things about this figure. I think the head sculpt is great. When you compare it to the rescue version from Captain America, I think it's a more uh, like natural head sculpt. Like it's a natural expression, it maybe has a better likeness, but I think this one's more aggressive and I think like the detail in the pores, I think like the detail in the eyeballs and uh, like just like the stubble, I actually like this one more despite this one being a more natural face. Go figure. I think the detail on the costume is perfect, like absolutely perfect as far as matching like the material goes to the materials that are in the movie, from the cloth to the, like the plastic to the gloves. I love having a battle damage shield. I think the belt is one of the best belts that Hot Toys has ever made as far as the ease of putting it on or off. Despite some of the limits with the articulation, I think the real win here is the costume and the quality of the costume. And as a fan of his costume in the Avengers, I think the Captain America figure turned out pretty good.